Hey everybody, so I got a quick um, unboxing for from Home Depot to do. It is a Milwaukee Orbital Sander as well as a couple little Dremel blades. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. Alright everybody, so we're going to quickly unbox these items. This is the Dremel Saw Max 3 inch wood and plastic carbide wheel. Item number is SM500. Information guide is on the inside. Dremel always does that. Actually, tape the blade to the plastic. That's what the blade looks like. I'm going to be using this in the Milwaukee Fuel 3 inch cutoff tool just happens it's hard to find the Milwaukee blade for whatever reason this is Dremel Sawmax 3 inch wood and plastic flush cut carbide wheel it's just like this one but it's a flush cut so it's got a, a step on it it is item number SM 600 Same with this one, information guide is on the inside of the pamphlet. This one is not taped. So the difference between these two, they're the exact same blade size and everything. The only difference is this one has a step on it, this one does not. Next one we're going to unbox is the M18 brushed random orbital sander. It is item number 2648-20. was the only one Home Depot had. So we have instruction manual, M12 and M18 heavy duty, nothing but heavy duty guide, um, tool guide. Sander. Put that down here. Um, this is looks like the attachment. Okay, here's the dust boot. Or the dust container, dust collection container, which I believe has a filter. Yes, it does. It does have a filter. This is, looks like, for the dust collection, if you want to use a vac, vac attachment. So you'd slide that in. This goes on it instead of this one. And it does come with what looks like one standing pad. Velcro. Nicely packaged, very nicely packaged. Hopefully they'll come out with a fuel model of one of these soon. Put these back in the box. And 
give some of the little information on the back. It is um, corded power, 12,000 OPM, oscillations per minute max. It is a variable speed from 7,000 to 12,000 um, oscillations per minute. Pad size is 5 inch. Weight is 2.7 pounds. Orbital diameter is 3 and 3, uh, 3 and 30 seconds. Universal hose adapter included, yes. Universal hook and loop pad, yes. And um, we'll grab a scale. Move some of this real quick. We will weigh it and then I will grab a couple batteries. These are the batteries I have on hand at the moment. A three, a six, and an eight. They're all high output batteries. Turn the scale on. So without any attachments on it, it is two pounds, 7.4 ounces. Okay. Let's put the dust collection on. It is now two pounds, 10.8 ounces with just the dust collection and filter. Put this one on, which is the actual vac attachment. It is two pounds, 10.2 ounces. Get it off. Sorry, guys. There it goes. Finally, got it off. It got stuck. This one. All right. So, uh, we're going to see what it weighs with a uh, high output 3.0. I don't have any regular um, XR batteries or XC batteries, I'm sorry. I don't have any regular XC batteries. All I have is high outputs. This is the 3.0. Without any attachments, 3 pounds, 12.9 ounces. Will it fit with the attachment? Yes, it does. There is a little bit of room. Not much, but a little bit. So we're going to weigh it with that. Four, four pounds, 0 0.3 ounces. Turn this light off. There you go. Sorry about that. I didn't realize the uh, light was blinding the scale. Uh, we're going to take the three off. We're going to try a six, high output six. It does not fit 
with this. So we're gonna just try it without the dust collector and filter. With a six, it is four pounds, 14 ounces exactly. And an eight, which you're probably not gonna use any of these on here. It is four pounds, 13.7 ounces. And let's see if we put this guy on here, which is the vac attachment, will a high output six fit. Yes, a high output six fits. Um, five pounds, 0 0.7 ounces, which means that the eight and even the 12 should fit if you wanted to, which I'm not sure why you'd want to. This is the eight. It is five pounds, 0 0.4 ounces. Um, And I can grab the 12, just a 12. Here's a 12, we're just gonna check it real quick. Likely chance you're gonna use a 12 on this is unlikely. I do not have any X, XC 5.0s or 4.0s or anything. All, all the batteries I have are high output batteries. It does lean with the 12. The 12 makes it kind of heavy. 12 makes it 5 pounds, 10.3 ounces. I would assume it'd be a little heavier than that. 5 pounds, about 14 ounces. I'm just holding it up. 14.6. The likely chance you're going to use a 12 on this is unlikely. Um, so if all you have is the high output batteries, um, your best bet would be the 3.0 if you want to use. Whoops. If you want to use the filter and collector, be this guy right here. With that, it is four pounds, 0 0.2 ounces, um, which isn't too bad. I'm gonna turn the light back on, um, and let's just put this sanding pad on it real quick. Oh, it comes with a couple of them. Comes with two. Makes it four pounds, 0 0.5 ounces. So it's a quick unboxing. Turn the scale off. And I did a video about this scale um, you'll probably see that video on the scale before you see this. Um, so it was just a quick look, um, what it would be like to use these batteries on it. I probably would not. Um, I'm sure you can fit, I think a five, just a regular XC 5.0, not the high output. Those are a lot thinner, so they would actually probably fit better on this tool. But I use what I have. Um, we'll turn it on. Knob is on the side for the speed.
like it might require actual press down down pressure for it to actually turn which is interesting um, I do like that it came with the vac attachment and as well as the filter attachment um, so this is everything I picked up at Home Depot it was a uh, hundred and seven dollars for the Milwaukee tool bear tool and then these were 15 15 and like 10 or something it was like 24 dollars for these two so about 130 something dollars um if you like this video please like comment subscribe hit the bell notification icon for future updates again this is um the brushed version model number 2648-20 for the m18 random orbital sander Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon for future updates. Please go check out my Amazon affiliate links. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.